Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about connecting to a Synology NAS from within a virtual machine running on a Synology NAS. And I'll put a link in the description of that video. In that video, I use the SMB protocol. This video, I'm doing pretty much the same thing, but I'm going to use the NFS protocol. So to get started, I have a virtual machine set up here. And let's put that aside for a minute. I want to go to the control panel and go to File Services. And then um, you'll be on this first tab, SMB, AFP, and NFS. You want to scroll down to NFS and click Enable NFS. And then I've also checked Enable NFS version 4.1 support. And then click Advanced Settings. And I have Apply Default Unix Permissions checked. I have the second box, Customize Ports, unchecked. And then the modified default read write packet below, I set to 32 kilobytes per second on both of those. And then this uh, Kerbero settings, it, there's nothing in there. So when you set those things up, you want to hit apply. Then if we go to shared folder, you can go to the share you want to access. So I'll click on this DS share here and I'll hit edit. And then you go over here to NFS permissions and you want to hit create, but I have one here, I'll just hit edit so we can look at it. So you have the host name or IP. And down here at the bottom, it lists what you can use. You can use a single host, wildcards, network segments, things like that. I have the whole network. Um, you could also just put the IP address of the virtual machine you want to allow access to under here. And I have privilege it to read write here. I have this squash is map all users to admin and security is set to sys. And then I have the three checkboxes here checked. So you want to hit, hit OK on that. So that sets the server up to allow NFS access. So next we'll SSH into the server. So you can click connect here to get to the terminal on the server. I've SSH'd in, so I'll switch over to my terminal here. So we have access, so this is the server. And the first thing we need to do is install the NFS common. So we'll type sudo space app space install space NFS common, and then hit enter. And you type in your admin password. So I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I'll put a link up on my website with the text of the things I'm typing in. Um, so you can, you know, maybe copy and paste it, or at least you have a clear vision of it. You don't have to copy it from the video. Okay, so that's installed. Next, we want to create a mount point. So we'll type in sudo space mkdir space forward slash mnt forward slash, and then I'll type in ds underscore share. I'll hit enter. So now we can type in our mount command. I'll type sudo space mount.nfs space and then the IP address of the Synology NAS and then colon forward slash and then volume one. So this could be different on different systems. I imagine most of them say volume one, but if you have multiple volumes, it'd, it'd be you know whatever the volume is. And then I'll type ds underscore share and then space and then the mount point, which is mount ds underscore share. And I'll hit enter here. And now I can type cd for change directory. And I'll type uh, forward slash mount forward slash ds share. I'll type ls in here and we see the files here. I can take type touch space temp. And then we'll see I created this temp file. I can remove it. And then if I type cd, that'll take me back to my home directory. And to unmount this, we type sudo space umount space and then the path to the share. And that will unmount that share. So now we've talked about mounting a share. If we want to do that, um, when the system boots up, we want to add that into FS tab. So we type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash FS tab. And then we hit enter. We go down to the bottom here. We want to type in our IP address of our NAS and then colon forward slash and then volume one or whatever your volume is and then forward slash and then the share name. So I'll type ds underscore share. And then we want to type space and then the mount point, which mine is mount ds underscore share. And then we want to type nfs, and then space, and then defaults. And then I'll type in comma r size equals 32768. And then w size equals 32768. And then I'll type space zero, space zero. So you see these options here with, I have defaults, r size, w size. Um, when we get out of this, I'll show you, um, you can type man space NFS and you can see the different options that you can add there. So I'll save this out, I'll type control O to save and control X to exit out. And then I should be able to type sudo space mount space dash A. And then if I type LS space 
and then forward slash MNT forward slash DS underscore share, we see that the share is mounted. So if I type man space NFS, this will be the manual file for NFS. And if you scroll down here, you'll see all sorts of options for um, this. You can type uh, soft and hard. Um, you know, it talks about what to do if the client fails, as timeout, um, retransmit. This is the R size we used, W size. Um, caching file attributes. I mean, there's all sorts of options here. So you can read through these and uh, play around with them or, you know, Google what they do if you have any questions. So now that this is set up, um, you could reboot the machine and this uh, share will automatically be mounted. So then you could use it to access the files or store files from the VM to your Synology NAS. So that's the basics of connecting to a Synology NAS from inside a virtual machine using NFS. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.